was a kid, there was a place. Hi Brainiacs, welcome to the video store. For the past month during quarantine, I went back to one of my favorite authors, Stephen King. Finally read The Shining and finally finished The Stand. I bought my copy back in 1992. It was way overdue. This is the perfect timing, since there's a new 9 episodes The Stand miniseries that will come out on CBS All Access on December 17. I cannot wait to see this one. Just have a little bit of doubts about Whoopi Goldberg starring in one of the main roles. But that's not the point of today's review. Just want to say that Stephen King has been everywhere for the past couple of years. From the TV shows Castle Rock, The Miss, Mr. Mercedes, It Chapter 1 and 2, The Pet Cemetery Remake, Gerald's Game, The Dark Tower Movie, and many, many, many more gigs, including Doctor Sleep in 2019. So before we go for the review, please take a second to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be aware of any new videos coming out. And welcome to anybody who's new on the channel. Doctor Sleep is the excellent sequel to the 1980 masterpiece from Stanley Kubrick, The Shining. It stars Ewan McGregor in the role of a now adult Danny Torrance, who's struggling with his gift of The Shining. As per IMDb, the synopsis goes like this. He must protect a young girl with similar powers from a cult known as the True Nut, who prey on children with powers to remain immortal. It's an excellent casting. When I first saw the preview, I was not sure about Ewan McGregor in the role of Danny. I did not think that it was a good visual match. Even if I loved the guy in multiple movies like Big Fish, Star Wars, or one of my favorites, Train Spotting. But he's really great here. Though I gotta say that the woman still the show. The young Kyle Curran is acting super well as the gifted kid, Abra Stone. It's always a gamble when you cast kids in a main role. Rebecca Ferguson is also amazing as the main villain, Rose the Hat. This movie is directed by Mike Flanagan, who recently worked on The Hunting of Bly Manor, which was just released on Netflix a few weeks ago, and The Incredible The Hunting of Hill House. Some will say that this movie is too long for a horror movie. 2 hours, 32 minutes. I thought that the pace was perfect and that this duration helped flesh out the characters' arcs, especially for the villains. With a duration like this, it's closer to a book than a regular 1 hour, 30 minutes film. You get to spend a lot of time with the cult, you get to know them better. They don't feel unidimensional and it really helps to raise your involvement in each character's story. And if you like The Shining, well, there's plenty of fan service here, especially more towards the end. But I really don't want to spoil things for you. Personally, this is the part that I was a bit less satisfied with, even though there's a lot of cool stuff towards the end. Overall, Flanagan does a fantastic job. It's not an easy feat to do a sequel to one of the most revered movie ever made. And he does it with flying colors, with its own style, while paying homage to the original without copying it. Here are the scores that the movie received online since its release. As always, these scores can change over time. You will like this movie if you like slower, contemplative horror movies with character development that feels less commercial than the typical horror releases. A movie with great character development, which is mostly unusual for this style of movie. On the other end, you might not like this movie if you don't like two hours and a half long movies, if you have not seen the original. And for that, I recommend to see both for continuity. And to put you in the mood, a Shining Marathon would be great. And if you're expecting The Shining, Doctor Sleep is its own movie. Let's talk. Did you watch Doctor Sleep? Is The Shining one of your favorite movies? I would love to get your take on this movie in the comment section below. In the meantime, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to see more cool videos like the latest Hereditary and Who Be Halloween review. Until I see you at the store again, Brainiacs, keep watching and remember that all work and no play make Jack a dull boy. And never go. Under any circumstances, into room two thirty seven.